in your career, Paul, um, you've had to perform beating heart surgery on a pig. Where did that come yes. from? How? Why? Tell us the story. In your career, Paul, um, you've had to perform beating heart surgery on a pig. Where did that come yes. from? How? Why? Tell us the story. I spent, so I spent most of my time going around the UK, speaking to heart surgeons and their surgical teams, talking about heart surgery and trying to get them to go from open heart surgery to keyhole surgery. And part of the training, where the, the pig surgery came in, um, you, I had to learn the procedures. I had to, because I spent most of my time in surger, surgery, watching an oversee in the, uh, the, the operations. So I had to learn the anatomy. I had to learn how to use the actual devices. So I spent a lot of time at the European Surgical Institute in Hamburg, where it's basically a pig farm. Absolutely. Yeah, and I think that's um, part of the value of what we do at VCMO is we're, we're not just consultants advising businesses on what they need to do with their marketing strategy. You know, today I've been working with a client and I've been actually setting up their Google Analytics for connections to their website. So quite happy to get my hands dirty with that very boring, tedious process. I think best practice is all about the frameworks um, because the, the frameworks that I use, you know, all the classic ones, they're designed to be completely agnostic. And I think really where a lot of businesses get things wrong is they don't apply these frameworks as part of the strategic planning process. And, uh, uh, you know, there's a famous saying, there's no use rowing harder if you're rowing in the wrong direction. But I wouldn't always rely on gut instincts to make strategic decisions because, again, that can be quite a dumb thing to do sometimes, especially on big ticket projects. I think certainly with the fractional leadership model, you, you don't, you know, businesses no longer have to spend a six-figure salary on bringing on a full-time CMO into the business. They can, they can bring in someone like me on a fractional basis from day one, even if it's only half a day of advice a month. And it's not just marketing, um, there, there's fractional CFOs, there's fractional CTOs. If you think about, to be an expert in something, you need the, that 10,000 hours, don't you? <laughs> How can I trust that you are learning the latest technology or AI? And that's really where the accreditations come in. Let the marketer be the expert, give, give options uh, and make it informed choices, but don't tell them what to do. The marketing strategy should be the business strategy yeah. because it's focused all around the customer.